Um, next news story is that, yay, there's going to be a new Bangayo game called Bangayo HD Missile Fury. It's coming to the Xbox Live Arcade, I think, sometime this month or sometime. Sometime. This fall. This fall, not this month. This fall. Yeah, eventually. See, so, yeah, since, we're, so, since we're in the uh, fourth quarter, yay, it'll be that, like that's this fall. So, you know, it's sometime within the next four months, hopefully, if they don't delay it or something. And then the next news story we have is that Apple has, um, they have this multiplayer platform coming out called the uh, Game, Room. Game Center. Wait, 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 hold up. Yeah, What's it called? <laughs> I think it is Game Center. It's called, yeah, Apple's Game Center. Or, uh, it's coming for the iPhone. iPhone, and iPod iPad. Touch, and later, like later, on, later on the iPad. Because the iPad doesn't get it until... Uh, the iPad doesn't get it until November. But the iPhone and iPod Touch will get it with the uh, next week's I- iOS 4.1 oh, yeah. update. And then it's basically like uh, Xbox Live where it has... Um, persistent screen names. You have like one universal login name. Enhanced multiplayer functionality, whatever that means. Score comparisons like leaderboards. Oh, matchmaking. Okay. <laughs> uh, make it easier to dis- discover other games related to the ones you're already playing, like that new Xbox Live Arcade experience thing. Uh, so yeah, and it's free, unlike Xbox Live, which you have to pay sixty dollars for starting next month or starting <laughs> November. <laughs> so score one. It's got its own like a. Achievements system. Oh, I don't think I mean, it's, I think it's really I think, only. I think game. I think it's only really only free because for like iPhones and iPads and stuff, you already have to pay like a like a one of those internet things to get this. Make sure you even have service to begin with. So with all the extra costs, yeah. yeah. So I say so after all the other costs and everything, it's like eh, it's whether or not it's actually better is. Debatable. Yeah, we'll see. I'll let you know. <laughs> resident iPhone, resident owner. iPhone owner. <laughs> All right, and then um, we have okay. So Kane Lynch came out, but there was pre-order DLC for it from like GameStop and Amazon and wherever. I'm not sure who else, but um, so like now Square Enix, who published the game, is selling the DLC. So my question is, basically, with like you have Project Ten Dollar from EA, which is like if you buy the game new, you get some free DLC. Not all of it's new, freaks. There's some paid. Like if you look at Battlefield Bad Company Two, there's like the new, or the there's like the free stuff that you got for getting it, and then there's like other DLC that they roll out that you have to pay for. And there's also like uh, and like another game that did this was uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, where they later later sold the pre-order DLC for like Soundwave and Jazz. So it's like, okay, if you want to incentivize like us, us gamers to like get your new game, wouldn't you think it would be like a better idea to just have like a Project Ten Dollar system where it's like you buy the game new and then you can like get the DLC for free instead of having to buy the game day one new and like that's like your only way to get that DLC and not have to pay for it. Well, I mean, I would think the goal is to try to get them to sell as many. Hmm. Hmm. I see what you're saying. Never mind, because I was about to say because you would have to get it day one for the pre-order stuff. So, eh. hmm. Yeah, that probably is a better idea. Because rather than because some because not everybody pre-orders. So, with the uh, ten dollar or the what would you would you call it project ten dollar? Project or yeah, project ten dollar. Yeah, with that idea, it would it's easier. I think that's more of a that's a better. I think they have that. More as a combat against the whole used game things for so much. I don't think they're really that concerned about the whole DLC thing so much as they're just trying to get their sales back from GameStop because it's like that's eating into their profits and they can't get as many Mercedes if they don't <laughs> have all their no mahogany so, trim on the Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. But I guess that would be a better idea. That depends. But didn't Mass Effect 2 have it where even if you you still had to pay like a fifteen dollar thing for the Cerberus network or something, and still have to pay for DLC after that, or only if you I buy the game I used? Because if you buy it new, you get the Cerberus network pass for free. Oh. Okay. But if you buy it used, you have to buy the Cerberus network pass. 
then and then there's like some free DLC inc- or included with that, but yeah. then some of it's paid too. So, oh. the wreck of the um, Normandy. Spoiler alert! That was free because <laughs> it doesn't happen like in the first five seconds of the hey. game. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe someone's watching that doesn't know that. Yeah, like the stuff that's uh, or it was pre-order bonus that's being sold now is like a map called the Radio Tire that's being packed into a map pack for five ninety nine or five hundred sixty Microsoft points and the uh, there's something else here uh, a um wait a minute oh yeah some eight player multi or eight multiplayer masks which is weird that you can buy for a dollar ninety nine or one hundred sixty Microsoft points. So, yeah. I thought there were some weapons, too, but I guess that's just pure bonus that you can't buy. Yet. <laughs> and that is all I have for the news.